Parts of speech are an important part of teaching grammar. I've already introduced how I teach nouns. People, animals, places, and things. Adjectives. Describe. Color, shape, size, and kind. And verbs. Action words. Now, I use cards once I introduce those parts of speech with my kids so they can experiment how those parts of speech work and relate to sentences. So, I have noun cards, I have adjective cards, and I have verb cards. Then, my students are allowed to manipulate those cards and move them around and make silly sentences. So, for example, happy. Now, who is happy? The happy dog. And what is the dog doing? The dog is digging. So, they will come up to me and say, the happy dog is digging and make a silly sentence. Or to make it even more funny, the fat farmer is swimming. It's perfect. It's associating those different parts of speech and how they're manipulated in a sentence. Now, sometimes the kids will be even sillier and mix them up. And maybe they'll start with the verb, frowning. Hmm, frowning school? Hmm, frowning school is clean? And I'll ask them, is that how we speak to each other? Does that sound right? The frowning school is clean. We could make it sound right, but in English, we have the adjective, then the noun, followed by the verb. So we could change it and say, the clean school is frowning. And it's a silly sentence. It doesn't have to make sense. It's nonsense. But it's the order of the parts of speech to help them produce sentences properly when they're using their grammar. Thank you.